Hey everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as House Sentinel and I actually wanted to go forward of camera uh, just so that we actually have a thousand gold stored up right at the beginning of the episode so that we can actually start off with uh, the colonization of old sons but as you can see um, I came back prior to that because I wanted to show you the tournament we're currently participating in a tournament of Lawlesden and um, I have a feeling this time we might actually win the first round, at least the first round, because we are actually up against our liege lord, and he's not really good. He's not really good, but oh my god. We've been hit again. Come on! We're a trained fighter! How is that even... Like, how do we lose every time? Look at it. Our dual skill is actually 7.5. It's not that bad. And, okay, our martial is worse, but I don't know. Anyways, um... Oh, some more brothel events. Yes, yes. Bring your money this way. Uh, we have actually managed to stay... Uh, on our horse, that's very good. And um, L Lord Aaron, Sir Aaron Vance and Lord Yonan Rigger were paired up. In the last tilt, Sir Aaron did not fare well. Okay, so he died. Sir Aaron Vance was slain by Lord Yonan of the Crossing. Now, uh, some of you have actually suggested that I should marry my son, Theon, to Lady Ella. Uh, unfortunately, though, she is already married, so there's not much I can do. I have actually found uh, a marriage. Um, a genius girl. That was the best I could find because everyone, everyone in the Vale and in the Riverlands that I asked uh, for an alliance, they all said no. In the Westerlands, in the Riverlands, Duskendale, Rosby, and everyone in the Vale, none of them wanted to, you know, marry their daughters to me. It was ridiculous. Um, so there was there was no alliance. The only person I could actually marry would have been this lady right here, 12 years old, um, but I have the feeling that once she comes of age, she would break that engagement. Um, simply because uh, she wants, she will then make sure that it's a matrimonial marriage. So I just decided we're not going to waste any time, and I went for the genius girl. Anyways, uh, another brothel goer, very nice. Bring all the money. I can't wait. And um, okay, we're going to be, yeah, going to be knocked off here. Uh, another brothel. Oh my God, more uh, Lord Piper. What are you ruling over? City of Kings Landing. Oh, Robin Piper, low command of the gold cloaks. Good for you. Um, however, we've made, we've managed to stay on our horse a second time, and um, but yeah, not a third time. For sure, not a third time. Um, yeah, we have been defeated by a low paramount. You know what? That really sucks. I don't really don't understand why. This is like we're so bad at tournaments. It just, it's, it's terrible. Anyway, we only lost two prestige and we have 1,115 gold. So we have 100 money or 100 gold spared um, or left to spare, whatever. You know what I mean. We have 100 gold left over even if we start the colonization. And there is the uh, pop-up. Colonize old stones. So we're going to lose 1,000. <clears> but it will basically create a new capital for our house. At least that's something I'm looking forward to. So we shall see. Um... Now the problem is, here's the problem though, this is, actually, this is actually a problem, I only have two out of two domain, that means I would have to give out something, and that would be either Sea Guard, which is a really great castle, or Sentinel's Point, which is my ancestral, uh, ancestral seat, and I don't want to give away either of these, hmm, so I don't really know, um, okay, there's some more fighting going on, I don't really care about it actually, <sighs> I really wanted to colonize old stones, and not just for the castle, but also for the sword, the Villian Steel Sword that you could potentially get, as well as the claim. Um, but it, it just seems like I would have to give up another castle. Maybe I can establish another Sentinel branch in Sentinel's Point. I don't. I would hate to give away my ancestral keep to a different house. That would kind of be wrong. It, it would just feel wrong. So I don't want to do that. But maybe. Maybe if there's another branch. Now, I know that, I know for sure that Duncan has two sons. So, if he inherits Narsdale, then this guy would inherit Narsdale, and Banjikot would be free to inherit something else. And this guy has been... Oh, wow. The Princess of Dawn just killed her husband. That's interesting. Did he have a bastard? He didn't. Oh, he was a deserter. He was disinherited. He was a wildling. Oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting. Um, and another tournament. Of course, we'll, uh, we'll go there, but I don't think we're going to be particularly successful, but we'll see. And uh, Septon Alaric wants to join us. I don't think I need you. Yeah, sorry. not You're not useful at all. <sighs> I want old stones. I want it, but I don't want it, if, if you get what I mean. 
Uh, let's have a quick look at that intrigue because it seems like there's a huge, not just a faction, but also people that try to kill me. Um, this lady tries to kill my son, and, but there's not much I can do because she's not at our court. And uh, that's it. You still try to kill this guy, and you try to kill someone else, that's fine. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. Really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, we're heir to the castle of Bounty Hall. Still, that means another castle I would have to give out as well. <sighs> okay, uh, we're, go we're gonna ready our horse. And oh, look at this, Lord Harsley the Scarred. He's actually pretty good. Yeah, we're not gonna defeat him. Maybe some coin could persuade him. Now, I don't know. We're not really particularly proud. I don't know if we really would do that. We are kind of a sneaky guy. Um, hmm. And we're also kind of shy. I don't think we really want to be. But then again, we're ruthless. The end justifies the means. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to try this and see if this guy uh, will be offered a bribe. Okay, we'll see what he says. Uh, when he heard of the bribe, 25 gold and we will win this first round. That would be cool. Hit and... Yeah, uh, you casually aim your lance in Lord Harsley Piper's general direction, shoe of a strike in any case. Lord Harsley duly gets in the way and takes a mild blow, theatrically falling from his horse to make a convincing show of it. Well, there we go. And, um, Sir Charlton is dead. Okay. Slain by Sir Lucian. Okay. He was uh, has been excommunicated. Okay. Anyway, we've won. Finally, we won a round. Okay, there we go. Now we're going against Sir Wilbert. Come on, please. Let us defeat him. We have better dual skill than this guy. <sighs> Every time. I was simply passing time at the tournament when I saw two knights argue over honor. I knew straight away that the argument was spurious and the result would be unnecessary bloodshed. I attempted to mediate the dispute and they told me that at least one of the knights should survive the resulting duel. Okay, so I basically just messed up, but I don't have diplomacy anyways. Look at this. Holy shit. My diplomacy is in the toilet. I have a base of seven, which is not really all that bad. Much better than... Actually, my base diplomacy is the best score I have, as, uh, apart from the learning. But the rest, rest of my traits is just so bad. Okay, and we have been knocked off our horse. Yeah, that's too bad. So I paid 25 gold just to get knocked out in the second round. Damn it. Ah, man. Sir Peter Vance and Alton Butterwell. Peter Vance and Alton. Holy wow! Formidable fighter, Mia Cockshaw. What a, wow. 22 duels, look at this, he is a giant. He's brave, he's a, wow. Can you, do you wanna to come to my court? No, no of course not. Okay, so Sir Peter is the winner of that tournament. Yeah, that was to be expected. You know what? Stop it. I want it. I want this old stones. There you go. Let's just go for it. There you go. We have inherited the city of Pitfort. Uh, okay, that's a bit much. Let's uh, let's create a new vassal. Um, I could give that obviously to hmm. I could give that to some of our houses. That's right. Let's give that to hmm. Who do we have here? Aegon Worth, one of my uh, Light and Liber. Mm, yeah. He's one of the ones who has been around for the longest time. Okay. Yep. Sure. I will give you... You don't even have any kids. But your wife... Your wife definitely is capable of producing kids. Just not with you. Robin Lovegood. Oh, I see. That was that was that family. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna grant you the title of the city of Pitford. There you go. I hope you enjoy. You do not like me at all, but that was to be expected. And I need a new bodyguard. Apparently, let's see who we have available. We have Mary Loxley. Hmm. So many Loxleys. They're actually all pretty good fighters. You're not really all that good. Hmm. I guess we'll do without a bodyguard for now, that's fine. Alright. And what do you want? You want to make me a advisor? Yeah, sure, I'll accept that. I'll, I'll accept being an advisor. After many tilts, um, Sir Peter Vance. Of course you, you won the tournament. I mean, yeah. He's a formidable fighter and a giant as well. Okay, but we do need to do something about this. Um, no, stop bothering about this. I know I have too many titles, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, 
of course. So we have the colony modifier. Uh, a large colony. We have no tax income from this. And another tournament of River Run. Tournament of River Run. Turnbridge. Sure. Well, of course, we'll attend. I mean, no harm can really come from, from going there. I mean, we have enough prestige. Yeah, we'll, we'll lose some, but that's fine. I don't really think it's it's all that dangerous. Um, another person visiting our brothels. Very nice. So, it's just so good to to be able to uh, get make so much money from these brothels. Uh, another person. <sighs> it was just 80 gold, just like that. Amazing. I guess... Hmm... I guess I will probably make Old Stones my new capital. Or Sea God. Sea God is actually better. Sea God is actually better than Old Stones. Okay. And we're gonna fight against the one against that guy who just won the last tournament. And we actually hit him? Wow. That's pretty amazing. Wow, we knocked out Okay, so he is he we are the guy who has never gotten past the first round of a tournament. Only one time when we actually cheated, and now we defeated the giant formidable fighter who won the last tournament? That's amazing. So, if we don't win this tournament, I don't know. I don't know who is gonna... It, it wouldn't make any sense. Okay, so we are gonna fight Sir Wilbert, who was second place. Wow. We're really getting the, the, the most formidable people here. Yeah, he knocked us out as well. God damn it. <sighs> okay, so I only reached the semi-finals. We're actually making some money. Okay. Having been finally knocked off my horse by a superior jouster. Though my glorious lesson this day, we actually we actually won some purse. Are we the third? We're third place. Oh, that was... I did not expect that. But this guy actually won. He was the winner. And Soroba actually was second place. Okay. Soroba is second place. Hmm. Alright. Well... I mean, we did as, as good as we could. I mean, we lost against the one who now won the tournament. And... We won against the one formidable fighter who, who's just, you know, such a good duelist. Awesome. Okay, we could hold the tournament of our own. I don't think so. This dangerous faction is kind of pissing me off. Yeah, it's Roba as well as Andrew. And Ben is also in a faction. Not cool. Not cool at all. How much money am I making? Probably not as much as I used to. Yeah, much less. Ah, oh, man. I need to give this away. Master Yorn of Nutton. Hmm. But who do I want to give it? I don't. I would like to have a second son. It could be possible. How old is my son? Because actually, you know what? Here's the thing. If once my son is old enough, I'm actually gonna give him Sentence Point. Yep. And I do need to come up with a new name for Old Stones because I will probably make that my new capital. I mean, not right now since it's just a colony, but maybe Sea God. You know what? I think we're gonna make Sea God a capital, and Old Stones our second. Place and then Sentinel's point there will be a cadet branch, I guess, of House Sentinel. That'd be kind of cool. Um, we can still hold the tournament and oh right, Joffrey needs a education. You are hardy, brooding, and rowdy. So yeah, rowdy would be for good marshal. You are the firstborn, a good marshal. Um, sure, whatever, that's fine. Like you're a good fighter. Can totally get behind that idea. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to keep these three holdings. They're kind of... I mean, Sea God is at the, at the coast, and it's just such a great... Um, well, it's a, it, it's a common castle. It has already, you know, a whole lot of buildings. And, more importantly, it actually has a small Riverlander city, which is really good. Uh, we have new Lord Commander, Tion Packleton. Okay, good for him. And Sentinel's Point, as I said, is my ancestral keep, my ancestral home. And I've already, you know, invested quite a lot into this. And last but not least, Old Stones is kind of just cool. I mean, I don't want to give it away anyway. Uh, you have a son, Nestor, Lancaster. You will be, uh, you're going to get the proud pride focus. Okay, good for you. Um, and Old Stones, well, the city is not really big. It's a small Riverland town. But the castle itself is actually bigger than Seaguard. Actually bigger than Seagard. I could start building up stuff. Um, a castle town wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Wait a minute. Let's have a quick look at our people. My Castellan. Oh wow, he does not like me at all anymore. He used to like me. 
Domain is too big. Yeah, that's the problem. So I need to, I definitely need to give give some stuff away. And our king has just died under suspicious circumstances. That's very interesting. Long live the new king, King Arnold Grey. Um, he actually has some tyrannical stain as well. Queen Randa Vance is now. I would I wanted to marry her as well, but yeah, she's too old now. Long live the king, of course. Will not curse his name. And the twins are at war with Donella Baelish again. So yeah, how's Riga and how's Baelish? They have fought over Harren Hall so many times. The problem is, or the thing is, uh, once Rolena dies, her house will die as well. So there's that. Uh, we'll obviously prove our worth. I mean, we have been third place, so it's, we're not completely useless. Um, so that's nice. I wonder what happened to that Dragon Rider too. Just so many things going on. Um, hmm. Alright, yeah, show me the dragons. Show me the dragons, please. We have Master Justin of Hellfire. Then we have Cyrax, Wraith Wraithwing, Drogon, Rhaegal, Viserion, obviously, Wishap, and this guy again. Daenerys Stormborn. She actually died with a dragon egg. That's kind of sad. And Lord... Lord Rhaegar of Dragonstone died in battle. Wait, what? He died in battle? Oh, right, yeah, Rhaegar Targaryen. Yeah, Aegon. There's Aegon. Okay, um, there's the tournament. Let's see how we do. Oh, we could persuade this guy. Is it the same dude? Um, we'll try it again. I, I do want to win at some point. And uh, he was outraged at your attempted bride. He called it a slight on his honor and rejected it out of hand. He he vows to beat you on lists fairly. Well, maybe I can beat him. No, he beats me. Of course. And Sir Alton is actually... Ooh, he's maimed. Not good for him. And she has died of illness. So that means Robert Lancaster needs a new wife. How about this girl? Enjoy. And we have been knocked. Oh, oh man. That's very unfortunate. Now, what's going on here? Loot bowlers? Killed this guy. A lot of people dying. Very dangerous, these tournaments. I need a new commander as well. As well as a bodyguard, obviously. Um, Sure. We can have Robert Lancaster, the commander. Andrew's Fishwell has arrived. She hates me immediately. <laughs> You try to kill someone, that's fine. And you are winning, of course. Of course, this dude is winning again. <sighs> Alright, once these tournaments are all over, I think um, we have been assigned a new maester from the Citadel. Oh, really? Is my maester too old? I don't know. We're losing honor again at diplomacy, I mean. You know, here's the thing. We actually had eight diplomacy. But we lost them in two events. We have lost diplomacy. That's so strange. Anyway, this tournament is finally over. So we don't need to bother with this anymore. You know what? I'm going to go ahead. And I will build up. <sighs> Which one? Which one am I going to build up? Um, improve the castle. Seaguard or... Seaguard or... Old Stones. I think Old Stones. I think I want this to be my capital. I, I think. I mean, what, what kind of benefit? You have ships here. But I think I want Old Stones to be my actual capital. Svendal's Point will be my heir. And Seagad is just going to be the second holding that we have. So, I guess I'm going to build this up. Yeah. So for that, I need my treasurer to actually go ahead and oversee construction. Let's just build time modifier. Do we have also build cost, local build time, local tax, uh, garrison, pacify, improve holding. There's no build cost reduction. Okay, there's some civil going on to reach. Alright, so in that case, I'll start building up the castle town here. Just so that once this has finished colonization, uh, yeah, Phyllis, finished colonizing, uh, we'll actually have a very formidable keep here that will provide us with a lot of money. At least that's the plan. So what's going on right here? We have uh, Lord Anselm, Anselm of the Reach, and Lord Titus of the Rose Road. Lord Anselm Tyrell. 
Okay, yeah, he doesn't really have any men, so that's useless. And my daughter is getting better at swordsmanship. Very nice. I guess I can force train my son. 24% chance. And uh, he has not improved, but he gains one stewardship. So at the very least, that's good. I had told Theon to stay at home, but just as I finish purchasing my gift to him, I turn around and see him trying to hide from me. The surprise is ruined. I'll grab him by the ear and have a serious talk. I can't blame him. Nope. I will, uh... I was gonna give him a gift, and he was not listening. Yep. What an idiot. And he actually hates me. Theon didn't react well to my way of correcting his behavior. I fear he's even more suspicious towards me now. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, he hates my guts. Look at that. <laughs> um, we'll build up a workshop. Do I want to build up a workshop? Um, workshop in old stones, actually. That's interesting. A group of crafts craftsmen. You know what? That's fine. Um, that's fine, yeah, we're gonna have to invest in old stones if this is supposed to be a new capital. So yeah, we'll do that. Still have plenty of money, so nothing could really go wrong there. And anyways, though, I think I'm gonna end this uh, episode here, guys. So we have started colonization of old stones. We just need to, obviously, find a new name for, for our capital, because old stones is what the peasants called it. But I think we can hold on until uh, we have actually finished building up this castle and then I definitely need to find a way to get rid of Sentinel's Point because you know it's my ancestral keep I like it and it's definitely providing a lot of base tax so I don't want to give it out to just somebody uh, I definitely want to give it out to family members um, but it has to be a cadet branch and I don't want to give it to my brother uh, first of all because he hates me and he's not at my court anymore anyways yeah so that's not really possible I wish I had a second son who I could give this land to um, by the way, do I have any? We have 10 members. Um, you do not have a son. Charlotte does not either. So, yeah, I have to find out who I can give this to. Um, but yeah, we'll think about this later. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.